Black Magic has done it again. We have DaVinci Resolve 18.5. This feature I've been waiting for so long, adding subtitles to your video. Here we go. All right, guys. So I have a video right here that I shot some, some time ago. And all we're going to do is we go up to the timeline and then we're going to say create subtitles from audio. And these are the options right here. So we have language, caption preset, max ca character per line. I'm going to leave that as vault. You guys can change if you want. Okay, we're going to click on create. I'm going to just sit here and just wait for it to go through just to see how long it actually takes. And to be honest with you guys, you know, you know, YouTube for one of the reasons, for one of the platforms or rather, um, encourages you to have captions on your video because as you know, you have persons who are deaf, hearing impaired, and you have persons who, if you're on a train and you don't want, let's say you don't have your headphones and you just want to read the caption without the audio, you have that option. So your video will become more valuable to people rather than not having it on your video. And also when it comes on to Reels, it's the same option. If you're creating Reels, let's say for Instagram, you can do the same thing. For your YouTube Shorts, you also can do the same thing. So this for me is a nice thing to add for your projects. And here we have it. All right, guys, so we have our timeline right here. By default, by default, you have it in white. I'm just going to show you how to change the color, but let's just watch the video for a couple of seconds just to see how accurate it is. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. I want to get straight into it. So as you can see, it has pretty much pretty much accurate. Um, of course, if, I, if you, you have to definitely go through and make sure that everything is transcribed properly. Um, try to say that three times. Um, so let me zoom into my video right here. And like I mentioned before, you can change colors to text either globally or individually in terms of the spacing right here. Let me show you how. Let's go back to caption. By default, it's gonna be on your caption uh, button right here. And then to make changes to an individual group of text, you click on the customize button right here. And then I'm, let's say I'm gonna put it to white. I'm gonna carry the color over here. And we have our white there. And there you have it. The color of the text have changed. Let me show you. If I go over to this other text right here, you can see that it's in yellow. But Let's say you want to do a global change of all the text. All you need to do is, I'm going to go back to my track right here. As you can see, everything is in the yellow. And let's say I go and I want to change, let's say, to purple. Click on that. And you can see all the text has been changed to purple. I don't want that. So I definitely wouldn't do that. So I'm gonna put it back to white. Now, let's say you have completed your video and you want to export your title with the video. If you go to your deliver page right here, on your left side over here, you will see a new tab for subtitle. You click on export subtitle, your options right here. If you click on that, you have these options right here. The one that we're interested in is, the format is as a separate file. If you go down here, you're gonna see the different options right here. The, the format that you want to export as format is the SRT. If you export the video as is, you're not going to have your subtitle file along with your video. How to make sure that you have it is you have to click right here on that check mark where it says subtitle one. Once that is done, you add it to the queue and you export your video. The other option, however, is if you go back to your edit page right here and you want to just take the subtitle by itself out. Let's say you had an old video that you want to add your subtitle to. All you need to do is you have your subtitle on the timeline right here section, you right click and right here, you have the option to say export subtitle. 
once you this screen comes up now you can add a name for the subtitle let's say you're doing uh, several subtitles and you don't want to mix them up you give them their name to the particular video and then once that is done now you're all set and you can go ahead so guys if you enjoyed this video smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more hope you guys take care peace